Hey guys, so I made decorative vases to add to the accent pieces that I already have in the home. And I really love the way all these vases turned out and I really like to share with you guys how I made them. Now let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off with an infusion pitcher that I got from Walmart. And this is what it looks like and I'm going to be prepping it for spray painting. So for the top and the handle, I'm going to be using this mirror effect spray paint and I was highly disappointed because it did not give off a mirror reflection. So let me know in the comment section below if you have another alternative to a spray paint that will give off a better mirror reflection. These are mirror tiled squares that are self-adhesive and it's so easy to use. I'm just going to be cutting singular strips from this to use and I will leave a link for this item in the description box below. I'm cutting them into strips because the vase itself has circular shapes so with singular strips it's going to be easy to apply. So I'm just going to peel it off from the backing and glue it on. It's as easy as that. If you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. And guys, I'd like to draw your attention to this point here where both strips will meet. It has to overlap and as you can see, it's overlapping but you're not going to notice it because of the nature of the tiled mirrors. I used a little bit more than half of the whole thing to cover up this part of the vase. Now I'm going to be putting something decorative at the bottom and these are the items that I want to use and I spray painted them silver. And then when I placed them at the back or at the bottom, I realized that it was kind of small. So I did not permanently glue these on to the vase and this is what it looks like. I kept it aside and then I took rocks and I spray painted them silver and white and put them inside the face and as you can see the decorative bottom looks kind of small. That is when you're considering the overall size of the vase. And so I was still thinking about what else that I could use to amp it up so I used the slidings that come fall in a pack but then I just used two and I put it in there and this is what it looks like. To give off more of the blue effect, I got blue glass gems and I added it in there and I removed the bottom, the decorative bottom because it was kind of small for the vase. But then I like the way it looks right now because it looks more balanced and it's still pretty. I'm so happy with the way I was able to transform a picture that I got from Walmart into this glam decorative flower vase. Now for these decorative legs, I'm still going to use them. So I got an old glass vase that was broken at the top and then I glued gems all around and glued on the decorative legs at the bottom. I used just three of the decorative legs and it came out so pretty. The size of the vase fits perfectly with the sizes of the decorative legs that I used at the bottom. And it is such a unique piece that can be displayed on its own. I'm so happy that I actually found the perfect fits for the decorative legs. And I love the other vase that I made also because it's all shiny and glamorous. Let me know in the comments section below what you think about both faces and which of them you prefer. The green vase that has the decorative legs or the pitcher vase. And remember to like and share. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.